Welcome back to the show. So happy to introduce you to our next guest. She is the creator of something called Mood Kits, and I'll let her tell you more about it. She is also a registered psychotherapist. I'm joined by Emily Miller. Emily, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. And uh, yeah, let's talk about the inspiration behind these Mood Kits. Uh, tell me where the idea came from. Oh, sure. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Um, My pleasure. Well, where did it start? Let me think. Um, the This really has been a, a passion project, and it certainly began, I guess, back in November of 2020. I was driving from, uh, I have an office back in Williamstown, and I live in Ottawa, and just doing the long drive. Um, it just was kind of reflecting on um, how things are going, you know, with the pandemic, and just really feeling those effects, both within myself and seeing it in my clients, but also just, you know, community members and family and friends. And I wanted to offer, you know, just kind of reflecting on what else can I do? And that's where the idea for these mood kits started to develop. And it's really just kind of flowed from there, um, getting other uh, local businesses involved and, and what whatnot. So, that's, well, so yeah, that's let's really describe, fun. let's have you describe then what is, what is a mood kit? How would you describe it? Yeah, sure. So the the mood kit is a wellness tool, and it was initially developed for youth and to support parents. I've gotten feedback that it's helpful to adults too, um, but essentially, it's a wellness tool that is centered in mindfulness based strategies and self care. It's a self care kit, but it's taking it one step um, further in that we're going a little bit deeper. Um, okay. So essentially, what you have is your I have a mood menu here. This is the guide to using the kit. And you guys were just talking restaurants in your last clip. It's it's sort of mm -hmm. like a restaurant menu where you start off nice. with um, checking in as to how you're you're feeling um, and noticing any sensations that come with that, and then move to your next course and uh, choose an option off of the mood menu. So within the mood menu, there's like, um, well, it's it's all associated to one item in the kit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and you, you mentioned, you know, working with, with local businesses. So, uh, you know, a part of, a part of what you've done is, is adding local items. So tell me a little, give me some examples of some of the local items that people can find in the mood kits. Yeah, sure. So, well, one thing in, in mind here is, um, that there's an invitation to, to do a virtual workout. So to join a virtual, um, community, um, workout community, there's a journal with journaling prompts, there's an invitation to cultivate um, gratitude, so to um, express thanks to, to others. And among the items, there's also a number of um, resources. So there's, um, you know, emergency contacts and there's a list of apps for wellness, as well as, um, you know, for those that have thoughts of, of self-harm or, or hurting themselves, there's even a safety planning sheet. Um, and that is both for the person using the kit. And there's also an envelope that comes in the kit dedicated specifically to the parent offering ideas on how to nice. connect and communicate with their, their child about uh, mental health. Yeah. mental health. So then Emily, do they go onto the website then and, and view a menu to, and, and make their own mood kit or do, do you have some that are specifically done and then you, you, you choose from each, each specific kit. How does that work exactly? Well, so far, I've created one kit, and it's intended to okay. be uh, universal. Yeah. Gotcha. And you are looking at, you know, a, a, another kit for for what youth, boys, and 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 men as well. Um, tell me why specifically targeting, you know, boys and men. Well, it. Um, I do intend to to ensure that this kit is certainly more universal. Like it, it can be right. seen as a little bit feminine, but I would like it to be more universal. And most importantly, I also recognize that this kit is certainly a, a privilege, you know, to be able to put it together and to deliver it to people's doors. So I would love to see uh, it get into the the hands um, of, of Indigenous peoples and um, for that to be a, a supportive uh, offer to them as well. And are you looking for, for more support, Emily, from, from the community at large? Are you looking for different ideas? Absolutely. I'm, I'm certainly open to feedback on use of the kit and um, would love to get more local items included in the kit. You know, part of them are, are local and others not so much. And I'm certainly moving to making it 100% uh, local. You mentioned feedback. What, what's some of the feedback that you've been getting so far from the mood kits? 
Well, certainly from like youth um, have received it and appreciated it as a nice uh, gift. And the feedback is from parents has been that it's a real conversation opener to kind of connect with youth about um, some really uh, difficult topics often. So it's it's certainly an important tool in in these times in the the pandemic. It's it's been a difficult time for for youth, you know, missing out on on social time and um, extracurriculars and et cetera. Um, but yeah. you know, even for those that have asked for support, there's there's lengthy wait lists and there's lengthy wait times and there's you know yeah. research that indicates our uh, admissions are up in the hospitals. So this yeah, is exactly Emily. I, I, yeah, sorry. I hate to cut you off, but we've run out of time. Uh, visit the website, originalmoodkit.com.